kongoran udogi bendine lama kongoran udendi bendine no tuin dongine no korano dongine no a rallying call Mama Grace used while on the campaign trail 49 years ago. The year was 1969, and Grace Onyango, now 91 years strong, was vying for the Kisumu Town parliamentary seat. She was the only woman in the race. I did not fear the man because from the beginning I was even taking care of the cattle with them. So was, when I was taking the cattle with them, we, we, we fight together. That fearlessness and ability to resonate with her constituents earned her the seat, making her Kenya's first female member of parliament. She was a force. I was told by one of the member of parliament, in here, if you are alone and you are weak, then they will be abusing you and you will be crying all the time. But you should not cry. Ladies should not cry. You should show them that they, 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 they can work. Valuable advice that would sustain her through her 19-year political career. That began in 1964 when she achieved another first, becoming Kisumu's first lady mayor. There weren't too many women leaders at the time for Mama Grace to emulate, but she still managed to identify some formidable role models. A trip to Bulgaria and India, courtesy of Mze Jomo Kenyatta, would expose a fiery 42-year-old Mama Grace to a rare glimpse of what women in leadership looked like at a time when the thought of a woman at the helm was treated almost as a crime. I, I learned a lot. I learned how encouragement and strong a woman can be to lead people, despite of the fact that a man, man, the, 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 the man did not uh, like it. She even had the honor of rubbing shoulders with the late Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi during her visit to Kenya in 1981. Mama Grace was also known for her spirited campaigns for women to be employed. She advocated for any male employee who died or retired from the Kisumu Municipal Council to be replaced by their wife, sister or daughter. However, today she argues handouts should no longer be an avenue to leadership for women. I would like to uh, appeal to my fellow women. They should not wait for nomination all the time. They should fight the men and then fight them with, not with the uh, heart of killing one, fighting physically, but fighting together to work together with them. Hard work came naturally to the mother of six who expertly balanced the demands of public life with parenting her six children by herself after her husband Onyango Baridi died the year she was elected to parliament. As we were growing up, we saw the kind of work mama used to do. It wasn't easy looking after a whole constituency. First as a teacher, a counselor, uh, a mayor, and then an MP. But we are happy for her. She worked hard. And we are proud because she made a name. And out of that name, we also benefit except it's quite tricky because you also have to check what is happening around. You have to behave like the name. A legacy that extended beyond her offspring. She took the first steps for us and whatever we are enjoying now, uh, basically because of what she did, you know, she dared show that a woman didn't necessarily have to stay in the kitchen and be in the house. They also had something to offer in public life. For now, Mama Grace basks in the glow of her sunset years 
hoping her fire ignites the next generation of Kenya's leaders.